So we had a good day yesterday and uh, got a few cars bought. So now we're here in Jordan to do the job that we came to do, which is what I'm calling pick the carcass. Uh, we've moved all the motorcycles, a lot of the memorabilia, all the cars, and everything that we think is going to sell uh, at the actual auction on September 10th and 11th. Now we got to go through and see if we missed anything. How was the drive, man? 14 hours. Uh, it was easy for me. It's like two hours in the plane. All right. Well, I guess the only way <laughs> to go about this is to start going about it. They didn't get these things that I told them to. This is a boat made out of uh, the top of a panel wagon. <laughs> they just cut the panel wagon off of it and turned it upside down. <laughs> That's actually kind of freaking cool. There's still a lot of stuff left here, man. Boats, boat motors, go-karts, sand. Tin Lizzie. Why didn't they take the little boat? See the size of that job. Does this little boat handle that motor? Yeah. Really? That would be ridiculous. That's pretty crazy. Now, if I remember right, this was the one that had the Corvair and the Dakota. Yeah, it had all kinds of stuff like that. Holy cow. I really don't know what to do. It looks like the cars that I just picked up for Dennis. Singer. Yeah, it's a singer. Sean, this, this is all you right here. I know. It's got shag written all over it. We didn't take much of this then. Wow. Are they coming back? <laughs> Don't even look at it, Sean. Which part? What do I want? This little motorcycle. <laughs> Dude, that's rad. That's one of those freaking little pit bikes. Yeah, but see, you don't understand. What you do is you take that and you put it in here. Yes. And then it's way cooler. Oh, yeah. I wonder why we didn't take that. That's a really, really cool pedal car. These speakers are rad. These are dope. If you rebuilt them, they'd be dope, wouldn't they? Speakers? Yes. yes. I wonder if they still work. I bet you they still work. Are they 70s? Yeah. Oh, dude, I had this chest when I was a kid. This Star Spangled Banner little uh, chest. I had one. My problem is, is I know all this stuff's collectible, and I know that there's some extremely collectible stuff mixed in with just the regular stuff. Problem is, I'm not an expert on toys, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to sell this stuff. I hate to throw it away, that would be a crime. And now whoever's watching this and collects this stuff is literally cringing and crying on their couch right now. I'm just gonna scoop it all up and throw it in the dumpster. Just kidding. Okay, watch your step, fuckers. They didn't take the Joe Namath and the John McEnroe? Or whoever those people are? I think that's Andre Agassi. I think that's Bart Star. I have no idea. I have no idea either. Whew, golly. So, I think we did a pretty good job of picking the carcass the first time around. It's pretty well picked over, but there are a few things that I want to try to snag. Um, Sean, Ben, uh, I'd like to get that Sturgis sign. Uh, I wouldn't mind having this Goodyear tire sign behind the old Portage on here. These are both good signs. And uh, then you got two other, these cat eye signs are pretty cool. Um, yeah, but they're called cat eyes. Okay. So let's snag those. That's three signs there. I'm fine with what's left inside that building because uh, we're going to have to end up having another sale. Oh, um, I talked to Dennis. This singer, we're just going to have to get some good pictures of and we'll sell it on, uh, on the old interwebs. Uh, believe it or not, this car's sitting here like it is since it is so complete. Eh, it might bring about uh, three grand, 3,500 bucks, but that doesn't make it worth moving. And uh, the truck back there is worth a couple of thousand maybe. The Montego's worth fifteen hundred or two thousand. We've got all the signs we want here. Hey, you're supposed to be grabbing stuff. I am. We'll get to grabbing. So I got Sean getting those signs. Um, the singer we can just sell online. In here, pretty wild. Just see how con. Uh, I think the two Dakota trucks might be worth something. This Jeepster, somebody will want it, but it's got some rust. Um, I definitely think I can package up the, the little Ford uh, Mini V8s and sell all that as a package with all its parts, right, Ben? Yeah, Curtis. All uh, right, Curtis cars, yeah, exactly. I know what everybody's thinking. Why isn't he taking that Riviera? That thing's rad. Well, 
Problem is it's only worth about as much as it would take to ship it. So we'll sell it from here. Wouldn't mind getting that pure sign. And I kind of like the boat. The boat just looks cool. All right, let's think about that. So there you go. We only missed a few things uh, the first uh, few times through here. Uh, all the cars are in Auburn, Indiana. All the motorcycles are, most of the memorabilia. We're grabbing a few things here. And uh, I had Sean meet us up. We're gonna zip over to Auburn, Indiana, about 600 miles away and uh, see how it's going there because we are only about a month away from uh, sale day. And uh, that's when it's gonna be proven if I'm making a good choices or bad choices. But it was two years ago and uh, it seems as though everything's gone up. So uh, hopefully we uh, suffered through COVID and we're gonna do a little better for it. So off to Auburn, keep watching. All right, we have been on the road for way too fucking long. Um, Sean, can you give me an update? So we were going from Minnesota to Auburn and we were two hours outside of Auburn and got a call from Richard that Richard got stuck and the flight canceled. He had to spend the night in Minnesota, which he absolutely loves Minnesota. And um, we got diverted to Kankakee. Oh, we, we did stay in Kankakee and we avoided a tornado ourselves. Had to stay at the bottom of the hotel. We had to stay in the swamp shelter with everybody in the hotel. That was amazing. At least we brought our frosty beverages and uh, now we're heading to Mississippi to pick Richard up at the airport in Mississippi to get a buy. To get a buy. Do we know what it is? I have no clue. I don't know. Um, I don't know. All I know is I, I hauled an empty trailer from Dallas to Minnesota to Indiana and then bounced out of Indiana to and I'm hauling in an empty trailer to Mississippi. But at least I'm going to go from Mississippi to Dallas with something. So it's not going to be a complete race. Um, stay tuned. What's up, guys? How was the ride? Was it long and miserable? Well, it sounded like you went through some crap, too. Yeah, well, yeah, it wasn't that good for me at all. Um, it didn't work out the way that I wanted it to. But uh, what do you do, man? That's the life of chasing cars and having fun on the road. It's called It Sucks most of the time. Well, speaking of on the road, I've got uh, one of those have to ask for forgiveness and not permission kind of things. What now? Well, as soon as you had me drive in the middle of the night, I couldn't see out of the window, so I It's peeled, right there, you see. I peeled all the tint off. Oh, I don't care about that. Okay, just wanted you to know because- I hated that tint anyways. The last production company put that on there and it sucked. Well, good, and I don't feel so bad because I could not see at night. All right, so how far is our drive to uh, this Cadillac? Because we got bombarded on going to uh, Auburn. <laughs> um, it looks like it's about an hour out from here. It looks to me that from my, my phone's right, it's about 90 miles, which makes it about an hour and a half. Okay, an hour and a half. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then we still gonna have to figure out how I get back to Auburn. But I don't know if, I don't know. Well, that'll be a you thing now because I'm gonna take a Cadillac straight to Dallas. If we buy it. Oh. It is pretty cool though. So it's 59 Cadillac, uh, two-door coupe. Uh, supposed to be pretty much 100% condition. Just kind of been sitting, sitting for about 20 years under a lean-to. Rad. Pretty stoked on that. Well, no, not rad. I would have rather gotten my business done in Auburn, but I'll figure that I out. I would have rather seen the stuff in Auburn because it sounds like it's going to be an awesome setup. I just need to sell the stuff in Auburn. I've been holding it way too long, son. Way too long. So what's the date on the sale? September 10th and 11th. So it's right around the corner. Well... In TV land, it might be in just a couple of minutes. Uh, right. It doesn't really work like that anymore. Huh. Nah, we gotta stretch it out. This sucks, man. Yeah, so if we do this right, what's your flight on the way back? I gotta get on the line right now and uh, figure that out. Cause uh, um, if, if we misjudged the drive, which 
I misjudged the drive also because I was using a city called Collins, Minnesota, which is 60 miles. Collins, Minnesota, you mean Mississippi? I mean Mississippi. Collins, Mississippi, <laughs> which is 60 miles because I just thought Collins when I saw it. It's actually Columbia, which is closer to Hattiesburg. Could have flown into Hattiesburg, but I can't fly out because the last flight out today to get back to DFW is 140. Yeah, you're not gonna make that. Well, I'm not gonna make it back 90 miles either. Let's say it's 11 and we get there at 1230. We're gonna get there at 1245 is what my Navi says. Yeah, so it gives us one hour for you to do the buy and potentially well, I can buy a car in about 10 minutes. Well, then potentially, then I can drop the trailer, bring you back to the airport. You can take the millennials and get these guys out of my hair so I can just do my thing. And then come back. Damn it. I'm having a shitty week, man. I tried to make a lemonade out of lemons, and now I got a whole pack of fucking dried up old piece of shit, yellow looking things. You know what they say? Just keep your own money at until it goes away. Well, that is one thing I'm fairly good at, isn't it? Right. <laughs> um, I got some water here for you. Water? Yep. That doesn't sound like beer. Excellent. You're a very good driver. Golly, I can't believe y'all had to do like 12 hours. I had to do like one in that car and it sucked. Look at that. Dude, single headlight. That's like a 75, 76. Didn't you have a Cutlass that color one time? I did, but it was more like 82, 83. Yeah, square body. I had that in uh, high school. Right. Had a I Grand remember. Prix that color too. We used to run around 820, wasn't it, in that car? <laughs> Don't talk about where I used to live. I'd be embarrassed. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, sir. Richard Rollings. Richard, Kenneth Barkfield. Kenneth, how you doing? Sean Pettiford. Sean. Is this for sale? This is, no, it's not for sale. <laughs> wow. This is the car my wife and I had when we got married. Wow, it looks brand new. And you're still married? Still married. That's Sean good. Same car. That's good. Wow. Yeah. You got a whole lot better luck than I do. <laughs> I mean, I got me a good one now, but it took a long time. Yeah. Oh, so. I got you. Bucket seats, console, that's a pretty car. Yeah. But I, I can't buy anything that's attached to sentimental. Yeah. So where's this old caddy at? Old caddy's out over this way. Oh, really? She looked like she was buried away for a long yeah. time. You want to go around the front? It's up to you, sir. Let's go look at the front. All right. I don't have to buy that cutlass anyways. He left the keys in it. Oh. Yeah, I got a, I got a KB5 go. over there, I'll say. KB5, what is that? It's an international, 49 international truck. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. So this Cadillac, I was able to just look at a few pictures, and I figured it was worth coming out here since it's a coupe. 59 yeah and uh how, what's the story on it being so, back here so the story on this car is it was my stepmother's mother's car she bought this car new in shreveport louisiana yeah she gave it to my dad he never did use it and i've never used it and so it's just been here and i was gonna refurbish it but it just never happened how long has it been sitting here probably 10 12 years where was it before that? <clears throat> my grand, my dad's barn. When was the last time it ran and drove? Uh, when I backed it under here. Oh, so it's only been like this for ten years. Yeah. Well, that's not bad. But you know, it's got it's, it's got a got some weathering on it. Well, there's a difference between patina and rust, sir. Yep. And this does not look too rusty. Yep. A little bit down there. No cats living in it. Like a cat. Whoa! That is a big ass spider. I almost walked into. Is that thing poisonous? Garden spider. Garden spider. What does it do? Absolutely it, harmless. Look at that. He'll sting you. No, I don't, I don't know no. that it's uh, no, any that harm to them. It's just make you hurt yourself. Scare the heck out of him. Yeah. He has a small one. I don't mind. The fender skirts and stuff is in the trunk. You got keys for it? I don't. No keys. I did, but I don't know what I have to do. I lost them. I've never opened the trunk since I've had it. 
As long as you've had it, you never opened the trunk. Never the trunk. But well, how'd you drive it here and you ain't got no keys? One of my mechanics, I don't know what he did, how he did it. There's a key in it? Nope. In the ignition? No. Smells a little musty in there. Yeah. This car looks like it used to be uh, pink. pink. No, it wasn't pink. Fuchsia. They called it, maybe, I have to look it up. Is it Desert Rose or? No, this is Rosewood. Rosewood, yeah. I knew it had rose something to it. Mm hmm. Yep. Rosewood and white. It's going to pour a little bit there, Sean, but yeah, I see. for a coupe, <clears throat> that ain't too bad. Let's see what we got under the hood. Ooh. It's a lot of needles. Well, if I get it bought, there's going to be a lot of animals running. Yep. Power steering, power brakes, and AC. Yep. Electric windows. A little crusty up here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Real crusty. Well, I might not shut. Sean, help it a little bit on those hinges. Don't go even. We don't want to bend it like you just did right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you already bent it, son. The only dent that was on this car was the one they ran into it with a tractor. See it right here? Oh, we do got a little dent in the door, huh? They turned too sharp with a disc and a disc here. What about the trim piece on this side that's missing? The what? There's a trim piece over here. Supposedly, the trim is in the trunk. Supposedly. The only, the only thing that's not numbers matching, supposedly, is the transmission. He had the transmission replaced. Yeah, most of these, they don't get too crazy about everything matching, unless it's a convertible or a, a Brits. Yeah. Um, so this looks like it was, uh, wasn't two-tone, was it? Looks like it white on top. Maybe white on the, the rose? Yep. <clears throat> Two-tone interior. Hey, I'm excited about you getting this thing and bringing life back to it. Well, we got to make a deal first. Well, let's do it. My biggest concern is getting it out of here without damaging it. I mean, I got a winch and stuff like that, but you got like a, a forklift or some kind of anything to latch onto it? We can get it out. Okay. If we can get it out of here, that's half the battle. Yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, when we talked on the phone, you said you're around six, sixty-five hundred. Does uh, three buy it? What about forty-five? Does it got a title? We'll route you a bill of sale. That's all we need here in Mississippi, right? That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Forty-five hundred. Yep. For a fifty-nine coupe. All right, that's the deal. Look at it when you get ready. Hey, man, I got to get it home first to decide what I'm going to do with it. That's kick ass. Yeah. It's ours now. Um, I say we detach the truck and trailer. I get the air compressor, see if we can't get some air under this. You ain't going to get those to pop in. They might. They right. You never know. You never know. Yeah. Never know. It's worth a try. Even if I get two up, that's we can hook, hook two more. Right there, right there. Right no, there. we got big four-wheel drive. But my point is, if, it, if we roll them and the, the, they're able to air up, then they won't. We'll pop them right off the bead. Let's not do that. Let's try to air it up first. If they don't air, then they don't air. Well, I got a little business to do with this guy. Okay. I guess I'll go uh, have a cold beer in the air conditioning. Let me do what I do. And you get it aired up. It's going to work all right. Kick ass. 59 Cadillac Coupe de Ville for 4500 bucks. Get you some. Have to call my friend Magnus in Sweden. You know he's going to be all over it. two things gonna happen either it's gonna air up or I can tell you right now it's not I can stick my finger in there that one's a goner so two down this one's gonna be a no-go too because I can see the bottom too where is that shit sandwich I thought for sure maybe I could possibly do it oh I got one out of three one out of three is better than none I'm gonna see if I can't go bribe somebody to forklift this thing up where I want to climb underneath it. And or maybe we can yank it out with a forklift. That would be nice too. Well, you know, I hate telling you, you're right. I'm wrong. I'm always right. So one aired up, three are not gonna air up ever. 
well, then we're back here with this. Then we put a, a winch on it, see if we can at least pull it out. I can chain it or worst case scenario, I've seen that guy around the corner with the forklift. But we got to get underneath it to get around the A-arm. Hey, you're, uh, let, you're letting the flies in, it's, it's hot out since there. I, sorry, you want to roll the window down? I think since I got the one tire up in the front, I'm going to hit that side. Oh, we're just rubbing my face. Appreciate it. You're working. I'm driving too. I'm trying to buy more cars. All right, let me see what I can do. See, I'll make, I'll make aren't you glad I set my trucks up for work? Dude, this thing is amazing. That's all I can say. About That's time a, for another one. This thing's like a 14. Do hour. not sell this truck. Because we'd have to set up another one the same way. Yeah, but it's the, the best taken care of 1914 loaded out dually 4x4 four four, whatever you've ever seen. Okay, this is where you stick your hands in places they shouldn't be. Well, it's gonna be real heavy, so make sure you loop around. No shit. Okay, because if you just go through a, a hole or a body or a... Well, I'm worried about spiders and stuff. No, he's over there. I saw him a minute ago. There ain't but no what more. about these ones that have been under here 15 years? You said it was a harmless garden spider. Doesn't even do anything. That one. There you go. Hey, camera guys, I need to Figured out this 3M stuff doesn't work very well on sweaty chest. I'm gonna let you watch the chain because I don't want to bend that bumper and then I'll just ease forward slow. All right. Ready? You want to give it a shot? Yeah, just watch the chain. I don't want to bend anything on the car. Just go. Woo, that thing is stuck. Let me see something else. That's it. Shut it off. Back it up. Now we go down here on that Mississippi down just a little bit of that old Cadillac stuck in the mud. Just a little bit of that mud. That's it there, Sean. That's just a little bit of that old mud, that old red dirt. We're down here in the Mississippi. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing that happened with that. Make that chain low shot up. Make that chain shot. Get this damn thing pulled out and go get ourselves a bowl of, a bowl of peanuts. All right. Yep. That's it. You back up? We're getting there. We're making progresses. Oh, we got to hold that wheel straight. Well, it's wanting to go that way anyways, which is the right way. Huh? It's wanting to go that way, which is fine. No, the ass him is going this way, which is making him fall down. Huh? Hey, since you already dug a hole here, you think you can scoot over about two foot that way? Yeah. Bring it out by the roots if you need it. Well, we might. Oh, we saw that big old forklift. We got we a that crane boom sticking up right there? Yeah. Oh, I don't think we got to go that crazy. What's up, Bubby Dog? I got a D7 Dozer up there also. Well, we're digging our own hole at this point. Hey, you want me to bring my four-wheel drive around and hook it in front of you? That'd be awesome. I don't think we need to do that. We're going to scoot over two foot and dig another hole. If it doesn't go at that point, then we're going to go up. Yeah. We're going to yeah. look at your arsenal. Yeah. This is part of making TV right here. I sure like that dog. Wish we had a shop dog like that. Should have bought it for uh, the price plus uh, removal. He's bound to determine to do this double truck stuff. I sure don't like it. Hey man, we only have all day. What do we call this, a double flambeau? Let's hear what we got on them uh, double trucky truckies. Okay, ready? Yup. that double flambeau thing worked. Truck on, truck on train. None of the wheels are rolling. Which they might once we got it on a little harder ground, which we could try to do. Try it? Yeah, let's do that first and then we'll see. That way we can, if we got all four rolling, then all we know is we need to get the... Well, the we know the rear two ain't gonna roll. Why? Because it's in part. Oh. Well, that's problem too. Can't we just do the screwdriver thing, pop that thing out? This ain't east side. Yeah, it is. This ain't east side. Ain't like we used to do. That's not old cutlass. So we need a combination uh, 
Somebody then throw some tires on it, and they can whip, we can whip the wheels off, get the brake cylinders out of it. So the go roll. jacks won't do any good. We won't get past the uh, the, the wheel wells. I didn't think about the this length. Is, this is going to be within inches of the I wheel I didn't think wells. of the width. Then I had to come back and get that. <laughs> I'll pick it up next time I'm going to hit the Minnesota got us good on this one. Because normally we would have the other one. I know. This is turning into, you have no idea how much of a mess this has been so far. Because um, once I hook on the winch, there's no telling which way it's going to want to go. Right now, it seems to be going straight. Not really. That's pretty damn straight. And I think that that one's really locked up. That's why it won't let me turn the wheel. Well, I think worst case scenario, let's see if we can get her on down to flat ground. That way we can get under and around her and we can get the flatbed. We'll just go on about the way we were going. You try to keep her steered as much as you can, Sean. I'm just anywhere that's Without flat getting in the, the car. hardest part you know of. She ain't gonna be able to pull that up. We'll sell it back now it's out. <laughs> so what we're thinking now that we're down on a hard pack and we oh, can use this badass. fork is if you can steer and we can get it lined up, he can put us right in the hole. But when yeah. he's gonna have to drop us, it's gonna be about three or four feet on the door. Yep. By the time he reaches the edge, and that means we gotta have confidence in our winch to get us there. I was about to say the BM word, but that would just be rude. Um, I'm sure it's a Hallmark winch. I think we'll be fine. I don't know what, what kind of winch is in there. Well, we're about I don't to even find know out. how to work it. This, this, this thing's been used a few times. All right. I think we're going to at least try that. We can always pull it back off. I'm going to get the front end as close, back off of it. I'd back that trailer up to the car. It'd probably be way easier. We're probably smart. Yeah. I like this guy's intelligence. See, you get out in the country and you find them intelligent guys. You know why they're so intelligent? Because they've done this fucked up shit before. Right. There you go. Yeah. See? God, look at that. See my handprint? That's how nice my face is. Did you pay for that towel, sir? Hey, I can't confirm nor deny where this towel came from. So we still haven't got the car loaded. And uh, I say we because I'm doing some stuff. And um, our flight just got canceled to Dallas. There's not another flight that goes straight through. The only one that does has like two connections, gets us in at like, I don't know, one or two in the morning. So that's dumb. And now we're all hot and sweaty. It's going to be another hour or so if we're lucky. So I'm going to call my old friend J.D. Pass. He's just up the street in Jackson, Mississippi. How are you doing, Richard Rollins? Hey, J.D., my good old buddy, my favorite pal. My oh, my God, you must want something. My best friend in all of Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. What? We're down here in, uh, just down the street from you in uh, Hattiesburg. Uh, well, actually, it's Columbia, trying to load up this old 59 Cadillac. And yeah. you know what? They canceled my plane on me. So now I can't even get home. No shit. Yeah. I mean, as a matter of fact, I got my three, I got my three guys. Sean's driving, so he's going to have to stay driving. I got my two millennials. They're going to have to uh, probably drive with him. I was trying to get a nice uh, place to sleep, maybe do some laundry. Maybe buy me a steak dinner. I didn't bring no. I didn't bring no clothes. I didn't bring nothing. I thought I was gonna I be home. You. I got you. You want me to come get you or what? Nah, you ain't gotta come get me. I might have you to have you come get me if I can't get this truck or this Cadillac on here. But uh, well, we're. You, you can't get it on the trailer. Well, that's a long story. See, we was at first going to uh, Minnesota, then we were going to Auburn, then uh, Auburn got canceled because my flight got canceled there. Then I diverted them down here to uh, Mississippi to pick up this '59 Cadillac that was literally buried in the ground. Now we got it out, but we got my good, nice, brand new Hallmark trailer and I don't really want to drag this piece of shit under there. So okay. I'm trying to think about it. And well, I'm I thinking- a, I got an Imperial trailer. You got an enclosed Hallmark trailer you're trying to drag it on. And I've got an open two car trailer that Sean could drag it on. You just leave your trailer here. Man, I ain't leaving my trailer in Mississippi. I'm gonna get it back. No, I don't have to 
you, I gotta come get mine from you, or you break somebody come get it back again. You don't have just a single car? It's, I got one single car trailer, and it's full of shit right now from the banker. Uh, now, maybe JD just wants to buy this Cadillac. I don't really need Cadillac, if it helps you out, I will. Well, it's a 59 oh, it's Cadillac two-door desert uh, rose with the white top, power windows, locks, cruise, tilt, everything in the world, AC, sold new to the original owner. Right. What do you think about that $9,500 Cadillac? I think it's $5,000 too high. Hmm. Um, I think it's $2,000 too high. I don't know what it looks like, but it sounds like a lot. It, it looks and awesome. And if you tell me you're dragging it right out of the fucking ground, that don't impress me. Well, we got two of the four wheels moving. Huh? I got two of the four wheels moving. Two of the four wheels moving. Um, no, really what we're looking for is we'll probably get it on or we won't. We'll leave it here and it'll work it out. But secondly, uh... Thought, thought you'd buy us a steak dinner for all the hard work. We'd stay there in uh, town somewhere and then uh, take off in the morning because there's not going to be any flights out of Jackson. Well, actually, your, your girl, that's your daughter. Done deal. Yeah, well, your daughter. You? Wait a second. Your daughter done left for college, right? So it's just you yeah, and the missus no, at the house. No, no, she's here now. Oh, yeah. I'm not allowed in the house when your daughter's there. So after she leaves for college, I could have stayed there and partied. Yeah, but she's been in medical school. She graduated. Oh, man. Yeah. Dad, gummit. All right, well. So listen to me, you want me to send you a, you want me to send a roll back a here? Well, no, I can get a roll back here and they ain't have to go both, both ways, but. And then just have them drag it up here. Yeah, but I still got to break the wheels loose, put we, put rollers on it and have it picked up. No, you don't, because they take, no, no you issue. don't. If you, they, they use some Dawn dishwash and soap that slides right on. To what? That roll back, and then I slide right off the roll back. Man, all I'm trying to do is get some cold beer with my friend and be able to do my laundry at his house because I ain't got no clothes. And I, I ain't going to fit in your underwear. Well, you might. You can take that either way you want, man. Either way you want. That's what I'm saying. You might. All right, sir. Well, I'm just putting you on notice. We'll give you a holler in about an hour and tell you where we're at, what's going. But tell me what you need done for your car. Well, I, I can handle that for you if you got it. Don't have it handled. Well, well I'll, I'll figure it out. To it, and if the winch goes, uh, uh, then uh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out here in just a second. We're, we're fixing to do some maneuvering. Uh, I can send my truck down there or whatever I need to do. Well, we got every kind of truck and winch and trailer and, and forklifts and everything in the world. We just got a uh, rear end. We're still stuck in park. Well, just load that motherfucker. Suck it on a rollback. Drag it up here. Hey, no, at the end. Hey, of the day, man, I don't know any of this uh, Mississippi term. Sucking on a rollback. I ain't agreeing to nothing. I got to go, man. I'll call you back. I don't know what he's talking about. All right, so at the end of the day, couldn't we get the Gojacks under the rear? If the front clears. You could. Boom. We got this. All right, back that fucker up. I need you to go straight back. You're almost on it. Just straight back. I've got a problem. What? My airbags are letting out. Well, maybe they ain't let up yet. No, it's been airing up this whole time. That's a huge problem. They ain't running. I know it ain't running. I gotta find out why. Well, it's half the reservoir in there. Well, that means there's air in the tank, but it's not much. It's the compressor's just not kicking on. It worked for a second and then stopped. And now I'm dragging again. Why don't you cycle the whole truck? Yeah, I think. There's not a test light up in there? No. We ain't got nothing on it anyway. Well, that exhaust is brand new. What? The exhaust is brand new. Don't do that. I don't even see where the compressor is. Yeah, the airbags in the rear are completely down. Super chase! I don't know where they are either. I'm starting to think we shouldn't have done that Friday the 13th thing where I was standing on a crack and had an umbrella inside under a ladder while chasing a black cat and breaking mirrors and throwing salt. That might have come back to haunt us by now. It's only the 16th. You what? Between those wheel wheels. Is it too wide? I don't know. 
know I'll run into something like that. Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven feet. I don't know if that's going to be seven feet. I think you got six all day. Six? Seven. Tight. It's seven on the nose. That's rubbing. Yeah, did you go I need eight, I need eight foot. No, you don't. I need eight foot. That gives six inches on each side. Right now we're gonna be rubbing. If you got room, you got room. If you don't, I, we don't. I can tell you right now we don't. We're gonna be rubbing. You kick it on your last step. Uh, you can measure the, the, the widest part right here. The widest part is that bumper. That's where he went from. Yep. Seven foot. Oh, yeah. It's seven foot. No, it's six and a half. It ain't gonna work. I need the I need the rollover. I need the flat deck. So I guess I'm going to Auburn because I'm gonna be empty again for two days in a row, three days in a row. No, because I'd rather load it once and be done. Well, it ain't going in there. We figure this out now. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to Mr. Bates about using All the trailer. Right. Call JD. You strap our you strap our thing down, uh, our jack back down. Pack the trailer up like it's supposed to be. Put all our tools back. Okay. Um, you want to get JD to get it to his shop, and then uh, just we revisit this another day. I don't know, man. I'm gonna call JD. Um, we're too wide to get in there. Six and a half foot, seven foot. I need eight foot. One measure, just to be safe. My feet don't lie. The last guy that tried this, he was wrong. 82. 82 we ain't got it. I got 8.2 all day long. <laughs> 82 is the fender. We're mi we're story of my life, I'm missing two inches. Story of my life, All right, let's put all the tools up. Grab everything down. G give me a little more. Put everything like it's supposed to be. Give me a little more. Sorry, I'm working on it. And then, uh, sir, do we need to maneuver this somewhere until, uh, I have, I gotta be a I don't even know what the hell I'm gonna do. You sure you don't wanna buy this back now it's out? We'll charge you a thousand bucks for getting out of the hole. <laughs> All right, we got to, tonight we're gonna sit down and have a lot of beers. So I'm gonna tell you about it. About a whole bunch of shit that went way wrong. All right, sir. In the, in the in the in the worst history of my life of buying and selling cars, I have failed again. So we are gonna have to move on to our next stop. It's pretty comical, actually, though. So will this thing be all right here? Oh yeah. We need to push it over there. No, you're good. Right there where it's at. All right. So I got two things. Okay. One, it won't fit on my trailer. Okay. Uh, we're missing by about four inches. And uh, two, the only reason that I sent these guys here with this trailer is because I just pushed them on from another stop or we'd have came here from a flatbed trailer. So totally screwed ourselves on that. Then it was a little rough getting it out. And uh, here we are. Now I got my flight canceled and I got to find a hotel to sleep in, catch flight in the morning because I got to get back to Auburn, Indiana. So if this thing will be all right here, we're going to pack up, be done. And we accomplished about 200 yards. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's absolutely. Rough 200 yards, yeah. though. Yeah, it was. You know, a lot of, and, lot of. Uh, if some entrepreneuring uh, young man or woman comes by and thinks this is the deal for them, <laughs> you hit them at a high number, and we'll split the profit. <laughs> All, All right. right. How about that? That works for me. All right, sir. <laughs> yes, well, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, man. We're gonna pack now up and get out of here. Guys. And uh, oh, yeah. uh, these guys busted their rear. Yeah. It's the only time I seen a millennial Didn't. actually do anything. You know what they were, they were doing? They're like, oh, this thing's biting me. Ow, it's biting me everywhere. Can't handle it. The mosquitoes. You see the size of that spider? Yeah. <laughs>